Hey everyone, it's Nathan Kaufman from UC Davis. Excited to get back in the aquaponic greenhouse for the first time in almost a full year. I never really expected to be away for so long, so let's head inside and check out the situation in here. Okay, so we've got some very dead plants, some weeds that will definitely need to go, and just some general TLC all around. But let's start by turning on the thermostat. This is a wet wall cooling system, and we'll talk more about it in another video. Uh, this takes the greenhouse from about 90 degrees to 75 really quickly, and makes it much better for me to work in. We also have a natural gas heater, for when it gets cold. Now let's get to clean up. The starts are easy. I'll just remove most of the dead plant matter and then recycle the plugs into our wicking bed. Our wick beds are filled entirely with used media from past experiments. Here's a great example of why weeding is so important. Look at this huge white fly and mealybug infestation, literally thousands of pests in just a few square feet. Now this could easily spread to our crops if we left it untreated, so let's be sure to get it all out of here. We'll sterilize our tables to give ourselves a nice clean workspace. And let's give some love to these air stones. We'll use some cleaning grade vinegar to make an acidic solution and let these soak for about a week. spring has sprung, I'm going to get some starts going. We'll be direct seeding into some standard 1020 flats. I'm using the same Ivort media that our plugs are made from and fill these trays up about halfway. Then I'm going to take two heaping tablespoons of chive seed and sprinkle it throughout. Now I'm going to give the same treatment for our radish and cilantro flats. Now we just turn on our pump, the trays flood with water, and boom, just like that, we've got a few hundred plants started and ready to go for spring. 